Ladies and gents of YouTube, welcome to the biggest, well maybe not biggest, but one of the biggest Black 4 showdowns you will see. Uh, yet again, I am using the new casting program made for Hidden Cup 3, using the Hidden Cup 3 overlay made by the Capture Age team. And uh, I saw your feedback on the previous video. We're going to have a lot to talk about here. Now, in the blue, we have MBL, one of the best players in the world, someone who will be participating in Hidden Cup 3. And then in the red, we have Doubt, one of the best players in the world, another participant in Hidden Cup 3. And they played a freaking Black Forest game, of all things, the other day in the ranked ladder. And since it's in rated games now, pros, sometimes they, they just assume that whoever they're playing against was going to ban Black Forest themselves. Uh, Doubt loves Black Forest. He never bans it. MVL, he lost a villager at the start here when both players made a rush out there to get the walls up. Um, I feel a bit bad because I know so many of you guys are Fatsob fans. Uh, but Fatsob, uh, I haven't, didn't have the chance to cast a Fatsob game before Hidden Cup. <laughs> but uh, who needs a Fatsob when you have doubt? Uh, here he is running forward right now. I uh, remember he lost his scout, so he's going in here blindly. And there's no guarantee that he can actually make it out of here if MBL sends more villagers over. MBL has a scout. He's down a villager. You can see that there at the top. Um, at Loom is coming in for MBL. He's, he's attacking Doubt, who already has Loom. This is... This is a start to a beastly Black Forest game. So MBL's like, oh, okay, okay, I'm just gonna follow you now. <laughs> I'm gonna follow you in here. And, uh, follow he does. So we have a scout and two villagers versus just two villagers. And now MBL, all he wanted was to get the walls in the proper position. And now Doubt builds a palisade wall there. So MBL has to decide between deleting his house and letting his scout free, yeah, okay, so he deletes the house, he builds a palisade, and... Oh, man, finally I can breathe! God, I'm, I'm sorry, that was a crazy start to the day. Crazy start to the game. And Doubt sent two more villagers, and he wants to rush that house down. So, uh, guys, let's get this out of the way quickly. This will be a long game, but it started off very quickly. Uh, I, I've been testing out this new overlay. Um, I'm going to toggle off the, the things at the top there for a moment. I really like it, and this particular game is going to show us what the overlay is all about. Uh, show us what the information looks like, because it's going to be quite a long one. And I already said that we have MBL and Doubt, two tremendous players in this game. But we have Celts and Mongols, two tremendous civilizations for Black Forest. So, which is better, Celts or Mongols? We'll find out in this game. Now, we won't have any 1v1 Black Forest games in Hidden Cup 3, but if you're not <laughs> if you're not aware, uh, most of you probably are, but if you're not aware, Doubt is sending more villagers! This is stupid, man! Oh my goodness, is it worth it, Doubt? Is it worth the rush? Seven builds attacking the house. What well, if there were actually people in there, they'd be so confused. Um, but Hidden Cup 3 is coming March 19th through the 22nd, and I have put months of work into it. Uh, my team of... Well, honestly, it's not really a team because everyone has different roles, but I think I have well over a dozen people working on things for Hidden Cup. Uh, we've been working tirelessly, uh, sleepless nights, let me tell you. And uh, I'm just hoping to make some age history, honestly. Especially with everyone home now because of the... the uh, man, it's really hard to have a serious conversation when there's villagers attacking walls, but since so many people are going to have a bit more time, um, well, I know the live stream thing might not be for everyone. It would be amazing to have some of you guys show up. It's just a website, by the way. You don't need to create an account. You don't need to, to type in the chat. You don't need to have the chat up at all. You can just put it on your TV or your computer and watch. But, um, yeah, we'd love to have you. But I'm also not going to be, like, I'm well aware you guys are, you guys, uh, have free will, right? And, uh, me talking about that for the next hour isn't necessarily going to mean you make it. So you're aware? And let's get back to, to casting the game. Now, Doubt is Mongols. Uh, he he just had so many villagers attacking the house there. And all that MBL wanted to do was boom freely. Uh, funny enough, though, it actually hurt him because he didn't have these cows collected. And so he ran out of food underneath his TC for the time being. He does have food banked up, though, so 
With him pushing in the deer now, I think he's going to be fine. Doubt having a civilization which hunts faster is, I'm sure, very pleased to see that he has three boars. <laughs> so, uh, he's going to take those boars. Uh, yes, he had seven villagers idle, but he gets the extra pigs. And MBL has the extra pigs, uh, so I guess he could take it himself if he really wants to. But he's Celts. Normally, Celts just opt to farm. And then again, it's MBL. Who knows? We'll see. So this is just going to be a, a boom fest. Um, I uploaded a few Doubt Black Forest games last month or the month before that, where he played, I think one was Project Belgium, uh, the best player from Belgium, and the other one was John Slow, uh, an awesome arena player. And Doubt just, he just loves Black Forest. It's, it's ridiculous, man. He, I don't know what it is, but Doubt Black Forest games are just interesting. <laughs> Uh, and, and after all of that, you don't see a big difference in the economy, do you? It's 24 villagers for MBL, and it's 25 for Doubt. Does Doubt have Loom? Uh, Doubt has Loom, yeah, so MBL had a little bit of idle time. And from here, I, you do have the option to be aggressive if you really want to. A Doubt's on the way to Feudal Age with that fast food income. But I believe the only player here who could probably justify being aggressive in Castle Age would be MBL with the Siege of, of the Celts, and uh, we'll, we'll see. We shall see. Man, I'm I'm remembering Fat Slob games now and what they're like. It's the only other time I cast Black Forest. Uh, it's suddenly so... Uh, I suddenly feel pressured to entertain, <laughs> because uh, there's nothing else going on right now. It's so peaceful. See, with the Fat Slob game, the walls get up nice and early, MBL losing that villager at the start turned that into a bit of a, a bit of a boxing match, I guess, at the start. All right, Doubt's collecting the deer here. I'm really wondering what his food count's going to be like. He has 500. He has 300 food here, but he hasn't brought it in yet. He went up super early, considering his villagers were attacking a house for so long. Okay, this is 140 food coming in. And then he has food in the other villagers' hands. I think that's going to be pretty well calculated, actually. Market Blacksmith. I'll take this deer. I hope he goes for the Lumber Camp or Mining Camp trick here, and I can show you guys what it looks like. And then these villagers. Okay, 35 in each hand. That's going to be fine, actually. This is super well calculated. Look at this. Market Blacksmith finished. Drops off the food. And... Castle Age. Wow. Okay. There he is. An MBL? Talk about calculated. Market Blacksmith for him. And after that, he will also be on the way up. So I guess Doubt's slightly faster. But I would say that Celts are a whole lot better at booming because of the fact they have the faster working Lumberjacks. And in terms of potential, we have to start asking the question, which is better? Having Elite Mangadai and Siege Onager? Elite Mangadai, one of, if not the best unique unit in the game? Or just full freaking Siege of Celts. Uh, the higher HP and faster firing Siege can be deadly. Okay, so Doubt's just been long distance hunting. Uh, but what I was going to tell you, just in case you weren't aware of this, that's interesting, he built a mill on a 200 food shorefish. If, if Dell were to build a lumber camp with this, or a mining camp with these villagers before dropping off the food, uh, that resource, the resource would also, or God, I'm sorry, would then go into his bank. Uh, you could do that with any eco building that includes farms. So you could have even 10 gold, let's say, and then build a farm. And after the farm's completed, uh, that would go into your bank at the top. And I thought maybe he would need more wood. Um, and it's pretty common to have two lumber camps with this many on wood. I doubt just decided to walk around, which is fine. Uh, but just keep that in mind. Now, a lot of people confuse it with clicking another resource. Now, ever since the recent update, if you have three, uh, 35 food in your hands and you click gold, you actually won't lose that food until you start mining the gold, which is really nice. I'm glad they made that change again. But... People confuse that, and they don't think that you know, they can build a farm or a mining camp or a mill holding another resource and still drop it off. It's probably one of the best tips I've given in low ELO Legends. Three TCs for Delp. 
and uh, three TCs for MBL, I'm sure. But take a look at this, guys. Look at the top, and you can see the eco upgrades. So MBL is now getting Bosol. He's also getting Heavy Plow. And he's building his town center. And uh, is there another one for him? Oh, yeah, actually, no, he hasn't dropped it off yet. He's at. Oh, he's added the Siege Workshop instead. Okay, interesting. So does Dal know that? Somehow. Oh, you know what? I bet you I can tell you what he did. Can tell you what he did. He tried to build something over this area. It's called scanning. Uh, now he doesn't see the train has changed. That's just a spectating bug on DE. But he probably said, hmm, there's some building going there because I can't place a house there. And he's expecting the siege. So this is the safe play. Building just three stone walls just to make sure the Maganels won't pressure him. And that does then put him ahead economically, right? Um, 39 villagers versus 31. And MBL just on two town centers. I'm really surprised when it's a boom fest. I was expecting MBL to have that next town center out. But Siege is not cheap, and he has two Maganels. Wow, okay. These are Kelt Maganels, too. So there's a couple ways you can deal with this if you're doubt. You can add your own Siege Workshop and try and combat what is basically better siege or you can stonewall more <laughs> um there's a reason fat Slob builds so many layers of stonewalls and he is going to stonewall more but he better hurry up oh man okay he also wants to add a siege workshop or he was thinking about it okay he'll build it here instead he has to pull the villagers back what can mbl see in there oh we can see it Doubt micros. Uh. <laughs> this is good micro from Doubt. He's got to get these walls up. And he will need some defensive Maganels. He has to maintain that lead. Look at these golds and stones here. It's a dangerous area to lose. I forget if Mongols get a fortified wall. I'm really not sure. Oh, it's interesting to note that Doubt doesn't have the wheelbarrow upgrade. You can see that at the top. I didn't realize that. Okay, as I say that, he's getting it now. But that means MBL's economy has been more efficient. And MBL is now adding a third town center. I'm correct in saying... Yeah, third town center. It looks like... Ah, he bought 100 stone. That's why I got confused, because he had 100 stone in the bank after building that. So he's going to four TCs. Maybe realizing that he needs to catch up in that total bill count. Alright, now Kelt Maganels fire faster, but... They don't have more line of sight. It's kind of hard to know what's coming. He sends in the scout. <laughs> that was a that was a doubt attack round right there. It's like ten tiles away. And so MBL's goal is to continue to pile on the pressure, and doubt's gold is uh, doubt's goal is to hold at his gold, and uh, eventually get to the Mangadai. Now Mangadai have a bonus for siege, which is why this is going to be really fun to look at. Oh. Well, wasn't that something? One for one. Crisscross applesauce. Normally, it's it's a sign of a good player when you can mag an L push and boom behind, and that's exactly what MBL is good with. One for one. I doubt like he could garrison there to kill the scout, and when he finally does, the scout is just passing. Oh, was sniped. Okay. There you go. But you'll notice the bill count. 53 to 66, and MBL's working on one more town center, and his villagers are chopping wood faster. And one for one again, Doubt is building a castle. I think MBL, uh, did he spot that? Is this MBL's fog of war? It is, it says it right there. Yeah, okay, MBL actually spotted that before the Maganel went down. So I feel like now he actually should just stonewall himself. And take out the house, stonewall, and just be careful because Mangadai can be quite good against Maganels. Then again, Dow would need to invest into a lot of upgrades. So it's silent again, but uh, pretty eventful Black Forest game by Black Forest standards. I'm not trying to bash Black Forest, by the way. I know a lot of you guys like Black Forest. Oh, wow, okay. So, one, two, three, four town centers. You can see that there too. You can see that Dow's producing out of four. And the overlay tells me MBL's producing out of five. One, two... Ah, I just added this. Okay. And 
MBL wouldn't be MBL if he doesn't take boars. <laughs> so, he, little piggy piggy, <laughs> he, uh, he gets all that free food there. Again, show up to Hidden Cup 3. I have uh, some Hidden Cup showcases where we talk about player identities. And MBL, of course, loves his boars, so... I have a really... Like, his video this year is just amazing. Hardy, my editor for those, has put in s some amazing work. 41? Or 45 on food for MBL. I guess that also includes these 10 vills. But... In terms of resources he's floating, it seems to be a whole lot better than Doubt's situation at the moment. It might come back to the fact that Doubt has been so heavy on stone. With uh, around 90 villagers, he's had about 10% of his economy on stone for a while. The Boomers. What are the relics like? Relic, relic... MBL doesn't have any other relics right now, so it's two for him. And I don't know how they've done relics on Black Forest and DE. I always ban it, so... I think it's just two for side. If that's the case, it's just a really good choice. Looks like, as well, the neutral gold and stones are fair? Yeah, that's good as well. They did a good job with this Black Forest generation. Because it always sucks when someone gets an extra relic or gets both the extra golds. It's super unfair. Not much you can really do about it. MBL is on the way to the Imperial Age, guys. Uh, I told you he'd catch up. And Doubt is sending the Mangadai out. Surprised that MBL didn't stonewall earlier. Uh, Doubt does not even have fletching on the Mangadai. <laughs> no fletching. No problem for Doubt. Uh, nice early pickoffs, and MBL's beginning to panic just a little bit. Now Doubt is on the way to the Imperial Age himself. So Mangadai, this is so cool to me, because yes, Mongols and Celts are two of the best Black Forest civilizations. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, however, you have to boom well with the Civ, and, and that's what makes them such strong picks. And it takes time for their strength. So Mangadai, I'm going to go through all the upgrades you need for Mangadai. You can see a lot of them at the top, but there's more. So you have Fletching, you have Bod Canero, you have Bracer, and you have Chemistry for attack upgrades. Then you have Husbandry at the stable for the speed on Cav. You have Bloodlines at the stable for the extra HP. Then in the Archer range, you need Thumbring, and you need Parthian Tactics, and then you need Castles to produce them, and then you need Elite Mangadai. I don't think I'm forgetting any. Oh no, I am forgetting some. You need the Defensive Armor. <laughs> as well in the blacksmith for archers so uh i think this is still correct wait actually i think with the bulgarians now this is no longer correct but at least before the newer expansions yeah. uh mangadai you needed the most upgrades to upgrade mangadai over any other unique unit i think but i think now with the conics again i'm not sure but i think if you if you count the fact that when a conic dies, the rider gets up, and then the rider also benefits from infantry upgrades, I believe the conic now beats that. So one of you guys out there, some there's always a legend in the comments who's gonna get the facts right, and someone's gonna list the differences. But I believe conics now would technically take more upgrades, but conics will get shredded by the mangadai. Um, Bulgarians can be quite good against Celts, except I don't know if they have an answer to the siege. And uh, it's a lot easier to explain for the Celts. Uh, Celts just want Siege. <laughs> siege Infantry, and they have the best Siege in the game. Now, MBL, he wants to make this a quick game. He has somewhere to be tonight. He was hoping for an Arabia game. <laughs> uh, didn't get that wish. And he cuts through the trees. Now, he knows where the extra gold and stone is. And he's thinking, all right, let's take that. Let's make a push. Doubt won't have Mangadai yet. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Doubt already has a castle up on that hill. And Doubt saw it. Doubt doesn't have elite Mangadai yet, but it's on the way. And look what Mangadai can do against Siege. So you have the elite Mangadai, which at this stage I would say are way better than what Celts can do. Because even just regular Onagers isn't going to work. Not with proper Micro. 
but Dao can't choose good good areas to take fights. He would have to run into a choke. So what MBL's hoping to do is is buy time and continue his boom, 142 villagers now, and go for some insane economy and get Siege Onager, which is now on the way. Then you have Fuhrer Celtica, which gives your Siege extra HP. Then you're talking. And now Doubt's getting Leather Armor, he's getting Chemistry, he's getting Husbandry, he's microwing really well. Uh, it's scary though. I don't know if I like that castle for MBL. I feel like the second Doubt sees it, he can just treb it down. It's not like MBL can really deal with any trebs that are at the base of this castle. Would have preferred he build it back here. Alright. So, stables now for Doubt. So, this is the problem. If you feel as though Siege Onager Halb is, is too difficult to touch with your Mangadai, and you go for Hussars, then the Halbs are already out for the Hussars. If you feel as though you need your own Siege, and Doubt's now researching Onager, you do have that option as the Mongols. But you have to accept that you will not have the HP and firing speed of the Kelt Siege. You do have the movement speed, though, with Drill. So the Siege Onager is a whole lot faster, the Rams are a whole lot faster. I'd say minimum of five at all times is what MBL needs with his Onagers. They're SO now, Siege Onagers. But I mentioned this already, I felt like this castle was silly. I don't really understand it. Build it back here and then Doubt's Trebs have to be in an area that they're not too comfortable being in. Well, players make mistakes. Now, I heard a Siege Workshop on the other side, so it must be that MBL's thinking about an attack over there. And the uh, Light Cav and Mangadai do contribute to one Siege Onager kill. I think I'm going to remove the upgrades at the top soon. Uh, there still are some, some upgrades that haven't come in, but for the most part, it's not all that important. And yeah, Doubt, I mean, this has given him quite a little... Quite a little boost. That was a free castle kill. That was just a mistake for MBL. You have to think about castle placements like this. Where will my opponent's siege have to be when they try and take it down? It's not easy to micro siege onagers and halbs because you could so easily kill your own units. But MBL's one of the best at it. And he's holding the hill. Maybe he wanted to use the, his, his military on the hill. Not sure, he's clearing out a lot of trees right now. You see this over here on this side? MBL's thinking long term. It's Hussar, Mangadai, and Onager for Dow. Affording Siege Onager is, is probably not in his, in his sights. Probably not in the near future, and look what the Siege Onagers from Celts can do! This is crazy! Oh man, and Doubt's Onagers are so much worse, they get flattened, and now Doubt has Mangadai remaining, but Doubt, you have to bail on this. He so badly wanted to push. He became so confident after destroying the castle, and now, like, how do you destroy this? I have to say, beautiful micro from MBL2, because uh, you need attack grounds. You need to predict where the units are going to run. As I say that, he actually kills his own halberdiers. Now, MBL is getting guilds, which means that when he sells food and gold, or sorry, food and uh, wood. Oh, another big shot! It's so satisfying! Unless you're a doubt fan, I guess. But yeah, the players will usually go to the market at this stage of a game, sell a bunch of wood, sell a bunch of uh, food, because they know how important gold is going to be long term. Guys, this is, this is amazing to watch. You so rarely see Siege Onagers. Oh, man. Look at the KD, too. Doubt has killed 55 units, and MBL has, has had 68 deaths, so that means he's killed so many of his own units already. So I like the outpost from Doubt, and I think he's actually thinking about Onager cutting through here. What's funny to me is MBL doesn't have the mobility, but I believe he is either prep defense or he's thinking about going in there himself. Now, if you watched any of the Hidden Cup 3 qualifiers, you probably know the term trickle trebbing when FedEx played Vinchester in round one. Uh, it was a slopes game, Mongols versus Indians. Well, trickle trebbing 
is when you send in one treb at a time, and trickle trebbing is not a good move here. Wow, this is a very confident Hussar. Uh, uh, is he gonna get a kill too? <laughs> okay, I was gonna say. Um, very confident Hussar. But what I mean by that is MBL needs at least four trebs before he makes a move. Big attack round, MBL sees the Hussars. Another attack round misses, but the Halbs are there, and he fires on the Mangazai. And with the way MBL is controlling his units, it almost feels like it's impossible to kill the Kelt Death Ball. Mongol Death Ball versus Kelt Death Ball. Which is better? I'd say the only downside of the Kelt Death Ball is it's really slow. So if Doubt switches it up, like if this was Arabia, the Doubt could raid. Look at this though. See, Doubt wanted to cut through. MBL's already doing it. MBL wants to take the hill. But that will make Doubt have to choose a side. That will also make MBL have to choose a side. Both players are at max population. <laughs> Again, the attack rounds come in and you just don't have a chance to react if you're doubt. Uh, I, I don't think there's really anyone who can micro against 21 Kelt Siege onagers. I'll remove the text for now because it's really not important. Uh, doubt says, okay, I know you have a Siege onager. Here's my Hussar. So MBL needs to make sure he didn't just give Doubt an opportunity to push and come back. Kind of like before, um, but oh, oh, MBL quick walls, but naturally it's Age of Empires 2 and there is a hole there because of the elevation he couldn't spot it. So this will hurt MBL. Uh, sending a few halves in though and building a castle there just to secure that side. Oh, and he has Siege Onagers here. Didn't see that and neither did Dow. And now MBL maybe wants to push this way. He does know that there's a castle there for Doubt, so he's maybe thinking push the hill and then treb from there. Listen to that noise when these things fire. Listen. MBL. He's distracted. <laughs> he is really distracted, actually. And the Hussars could start getting in. Come on, do it for me. Listen to this. That's crazy. MBL didn't have chemistry this whole time. Now he has it. Back in the uh, classic AOC days, chemistry actually meant you were units fired slower your siege units and no i think that the projectiles flew slower in the air or something like that again youtube comments help me out but um that's not the case anymore they fixed that bug and this is a doubt castle for mbl <laughs> he, he really should have maybe defended this side and pushed the middle Instead of, of going what, for what he did there. Oh my god! The winged hussars arrived, Sabaton. And they just got shredded by MBL's siege onagers. Holy cow. As MBL would say, holy moly. <laughs> Not so easy to engage now that there's some freedom to move around for doubt. But then again, he can't move that far. Prepare for an insane battle. Look at your screens, guys. Look at the value of the armies. 12,000 resources makes up MBL's army. 12,000! And Dal is using trebuchets. It's honestly probably his best option. He loses the castle. Trebs are probably his best option here combating this. So I still think the trebs will one-shot a Siege Onager. The problem is, the Siege Onagers are pretty exposed. Now, we're looking at one point on our screens. MBL and Doubt, they're looking at multiple areas. Um, again, it's hilarious to me when random units get mixed in to the Siege Onagers and the Halbs. But if MBL loses his Halbs at any point, it's so easy to do so, because he's, he's multitasking. BOOM! Uh, the Siege Onagers could all go down. So he, he always has to keep these Halbs which are faster than average halves because they're Kelt halves, in front and around the SO. We have a few Mangadai there trying to raid. Uh, we still have units running in here from Doubt, so we're looking here. MBL is looking to both sides. What an insane game, though. Uh, Doubt is, is really struggling to find an answer to the Siege, but he does have his own Siege Onager now. MBL almost destroyed his own Siege. And I love the production from MBL. 
I'm loving the amount he's producing. He's 13 halbs queued up. And look how many barracks he has as well. So they're they're reinforcing quickly. I think he's kind of shifted his attention to holding here while he deals with the raids on the left side because Dowd is he's just being a pest. Being a huge pest, that castle is still a doubt castle over there. And BL knows there's castles over there. That's probably not the area to push. I think pushing this area is the way to go. He's maintained around 15 to 20 siege monitors and about 30 halves in this composition. Well, Doubt Siege Onager fires. He doesn't get any kills. Remember, the Celt Siege Onagers with fewer Celtica, they have extra HP. It's 100 HP. And I think MBL now, he's going he's gonna to solve this problem. This big, big problem he created for himself earlier, he's now solved. I just... <laughs> it is It is remarkable. <laughs> It is remarkable, this composition. Okay, the 70 HP Siege Onager. Firing on top of the hill. Alright, contributes a little bit. MBO only has one Treb, so I think three or four more Trebs might need to come forward. He has so many resources banked up. But he loses that Treb, so again, he can't really push anymore. Now, he can't go Siege Ram because if he go Well, he can, but if he goes Siege Ram, I think it's a mistake. Uh, because Mangadai have the bonus for Siege, and unlike the Siege Onagers, the Siege Rams can't really do anything against the Mangadai. Same with the Hussars. That's just about a slow, progressive death ball. How has MBL avoided massacring his 30 Halbs in front? He's killed a few units here or there, but he's never... Uh, like, right there! Like, I would have wiped out my own army. <laughs> I don't know how he's avoided that. Also, how long is it going to take him to deal with these traps? Just just sacrifice a few siege onagers for them. Yeah, there you go. That's beautiful. He takes out those traps. Bit of revenge because he's lost so many. A doubt. Okay, getting some big hits having the hill. And good micro too. And then Hussar swooped in from the other side for doubt. And doubt he won't take the population lead, but suddenly there's there's not so many siege onagers here for MBL. So MBL thinks, oh shoot, what has just happened? I'm going to raid with Halbs, and uh, I'm going to go against T90's advice, and I'm going to actually make Rams. And he needs to reinforce, uh, producing Rams, Siege Onagers, and Halbs from home. On this side, uh, he is a threat. Siege Onagers and Halbadiers. Really wish he would just plug this gap, because Doubt keeps trying to run through. It's annoying me. Nice hold from Doubt. Very nice hold. But the value on the military has gone way down for both of them. <laughs> um, Doubt still does have a decent number of Mangadai. But it, it won't... It, it'll get more and more difficult for players to be able to make gold units. And that is not the best way to use your gold units if you're Doubt. You just tossed away Mangadai numbers. So you got to be extremely careful too because MBL has some siege in the siege workshop. But that said, I believe it is just three rams. Also, MBL is sending some trebs over to this side now. So, uh, Dowd found some success here, quite possibly because MBL's focus has shifted to the left-hand side. And if you think about it, uh, MBL already destroyed a castle here. If he destroys a castle on the left and doesn't completely die in the middle, he's made more progress than Dowd has been able to. I think Dowd, uh, he has to dive in and micro against low numbers of Siege Onagers. He cannot allow the Siege Onager numbers to get as high as it was before. And he's, he's doing that right here. Good micro from Doubt. Now the Rams, they have way more HP than the Siege Onagers. It's 378 HP. But the Rams are still going down, so I'm not convinced here. This is where I'm convinced, though. Boom. Everywhere Doubt goes. He can't deal with the Kelt spam. And again, MBL has enough barracks producing. It's like at all areas, he has the production. And here he has the hill, and that's that's not a Doubt Castle, but that is a former Doubt Castle. It is down. Doubt has lost another castle, and now here, the Siege Onagers and the Halbs are destroying him again. Oh, I love it. It's so satisfying. Never do you get to see units melt this to SO like this, except on Black Forest. So thanks to E, I guess. 
486 kills. It's about to be 500 kills for MBL. He's killed only 30 of his own units, which is pretty, really something. And Doubt's population is dropping big time. Look at this now. See the military difference on our overlay? The villager count difference? It's not, it's not much there. But what can Doubt make when he doesn't have gold? And what can Doubt make with gold that can beat what MBL has? You hear the ting, 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 ting as the pointy boys raid. They're as good as Hussars here if you want to kill villagers. And now rams do make some sense, slowly taking out the houses, slowly taking out these stables. MBL has made this look so easy. Uh, I see this. The doubt just tried every so often to sneak in there and raid. Hoping that MBL wouldn't see it and he'd lose 30 bills and give Doubt an opportunity to come back here. But the Lord is struggling. He has been persecuted by the Celts. Uh, there's got to be no way back here. This is this is unreal. <laughs> At this point, it looks like a human playing versus an AI. Uh, because the amount of pressure coming in from MBL is, is unstoppable. It is never ceasing, and Doubt is streaming in units one by one and losing them to the pressure. And he calls the GG and taps out. What a game. It's very, very rare that you get to see that. I guess... Let me ask you this. Do you think there was something that Doubt could have done differently in this game, YouTube? I'm not so sure. Maybe... Well, I can make arguments against every single thing that Mongols could do, and I'm pretty much making arguments for Celts. I guess that's the way to sum up the Civ matchup. Maybe doubt if he went for Siege Honors earlier and got more, you could say that he could have had more success, but you're still comparing Mongol Siege Onagers, which can move around faster, but they have less HP, and they don't have the firing speed bonus of Celts, to you know the, the strength of Celt Siege. I guess the one thing that comes to mind, and this is what I would say if it was a more open map, is user mobility. So maybe Doubt needed to be more creative and cut along the edge of the map and, and run in, sneak some villagers in there and, and raid, uh, kind of like he did here. Uh, I think that the raids there, just getting through, uh, it lasted a while. So maybe if he put more of an effort into cutting around, it would have been play. But I can see why with Mongols you would have confidence in the Mangadai. It's just such a hard pick. Um, so, such a hard Civ matchup. Now, if you go Aztecs on this, you can convert the Siege. Uh, Aztecs Kelt is an amazing Civ matchup. It's really hard to call that one because both have strong infantry, but Aztecs have the monks, and they can actually convert the Siege Onagers, and that's not something Celts can deal with too well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this on YouTube. Like I said yesterday, and, and like I... Well, it might, I, I don't know when I uploaded the other video, but it might have even been today for you. Uh, Hidden Cup 3 is coming. We have a $50,000 prize pool for Hidden Cup 3. It is coming March 19th through the 23rd. We are just days away now. Um, 50k in prize pool, 16 best players in the world, playing with hidden identities. And we will have this awesome casting tool to use and possibly some new updates to it based on your feedback. Would love to have you guys there, YouTube. Now stop by. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. And uh, I believe the next recommended video is actually going to be the trailer as well but before we do that here's the statistics now like i said before for hidden cup 3 i'm going to have a special achievements page this is just for my uh this is my makeshift setup forecasting this youtube video a huge huge military score that's unreal uh let's see 561 kills versus 393 mbl only killed 29 of his own units 29 of his own units. That is that is impressive <laughs> with that many siege onagers. Uh, 105 largest army. And uh, you see the resources collected? Doubt had just as much gold. It's just compositions. Maybe if Doubt had an extra gold that's a bit more competitive. Wait a second. He had three relics. T90 blind. I'm sorry. You know, the funny thing is I was saying how there were only four relics on the map. And it was right down here the whole freaking time. It shows you can give a caster a casting tool, but it doesn't make the caster improve, does it? Jeez. And there's the beautiful, beautiful timeline for you from an epic Black Forest game. Wait, was my mic muted? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought my mic was muted the whole time. Thank God. It's, it's the hidden caster cup. 
coming soon.